Hey, I'm gonna do an unboxing video of this high sonic PA system. You can see here's the model. I looked around for a while online and got this one because it's battery powered and it has apparently decent performance, although none of the battery, battery powered ones are really any good. $250, although none of them are that expensive either because they don't make any high end ones that I ever found. And this one has two wireless microphones with it. There's the HS420. Got the manual. And looks like one of the microphones goes over the head. I think one of them's handheld as well. And here's the handheld. And some other various components, batteries and remote control. And here's the main unit. And in here, it's even got a stand, I think, to get it up in the air. We'll have to tip the box over, I think, to pull it out. Slides out a whole bunch of bubble wrap. Cover? It's just a speaker cover, probably. Got a telescope, like a, like a luggage thing, telescoping handle. Okay. This is my knee. Speaker in the front and lots of inputs in the back. And here's the stand. Here's the stand. And is that it? And it's just the, there's the bottom piece. That's it. And there's the stand. So you can see here, it does have the two wireless microphones, MP3 player recorder and FM radio. And it does have the optional stand. I guess it's, but we have it. All right, well, I have no idea how what a state of charge this thing is at, so got the thing plugged into the wall, plug it in here, and that, there, there, the light goes on, so it's charging. And I don't know if there's any way to tell what the indicator is. Uh, there's a battery meter or anything like that. I'll look in the manual. And we'll take this little cover off the screen. So we're going to set up the wireless handheld microphone first. Take it out of the bag. Here it is, and then you just unscrew the battery cover. It, it uses a 9-volt battery, and the 9-volt battery is supplied. That's nice. And you can see it's even shown. You can see positive on one side, negative on the other. You see that? It's got to make sure you put it in correctly. And then on the 9-volt... Actually, it's got to be unwrapped first. Let's unwrap it, and then we'll we'll drop it in. You can see, I got some marks on here. There's a negative. There's a positive. Okay, so let's put it in. Positive is on the side closest to us here, and there it is, positive like that. Drop it in, and then screw this cap on. Then it says to turn the uh, microphone. Oop. Turn the switch, it's not, it did light up. Testing, testing. When the LED is off, the battery is good to use. When the LED is on, the battery is low. Oh, okay. That's interesting, so I guess it works now. So let's turn the main system on. It's on, you can hear some hiss. And it's got lots of little adjustments back here. Mic one and two. Hello, testing. Hmm. Let's see. 
Hello. Okay, let's test this out. Here's okay. You want WM for wireless mic one and two. Turn it up. Hello. 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 Can you hear me? Hello. Testing. Hello. Hello. Okay. Seems like it works. Like it works, and it, you have to be really close to the microphone. If I move, like I'll move it back and forth. Hello. You gotta be really close to that microphone for it to work. Now let's set up the wireless transmitter with lapel or headset microphone operations. Hmm, I guess you can do either one, huh? Okay, so it says to I'm gonna take this out first. Open up the battery cover. And insert the battery, which I already took the uh, plastic off. It's positive. It's negative. Is that positive? Positive. Okay. Push it in. Close the cover. All right. Now it's saying to uh, put this, plug this jack in. I have to uh, undo that first, but then plug that in this jack into the unit. Okay, plug it in. Then turn it on. It's got a little adjuster here, and let's turn on the main system. Uh oh. Hello. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that was. Pretty loud. I'm, I'm pretty close to the speaker. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Okay. Yeah, this one's a lot more sensitive um, because it's got this piece and it has to go underneath your mouth. Um, I don't know how good this will be in a crowd though. We're going to use it in a setting where there's a lot of, a lot of people. So we may end up wanting to use the headset. I'm going to try that one out too. The headset has to be taken out of the bag. There it is. And then undo the cord and plug it in. So we'll unplug the, la the lavalier of the lapel. lapel. Plug that in. Try this on. Turn it on. Hello? Hello? It's got this adjuster here. Hello? Hello? Testing. Can you hear me? Okay, maybe that's better. I don't know. Either one. Actually, you see you have an option of using the lapel or the headset with this. Either one works. It sounds pretty good, but the test is going to be getting out there outside in front of a lot of people. Because we're indoors right now, so it's not difficult to do something like this indoors. Actually, before I move on and finish up, I want to try to use these two microphones at the same time to make sure they actually, that both of them can be used at the same time. So here's the other one. Let me turn this. Actually, that was already on, wasn't it? Both of them. Hello? 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 Oh, okay, I'm moving back and forth. They both, this one works. This is microphone number one. And... This is microphone number two. Yes, they both work at the same time. Hello? Okay, they do. That's good. It's good to know because some of these systems won't do that. You have to do only one at a time. This one, you can use both. So this thing, this thing, whoa, oh, that, that's, let me point the speaker away. That's, that's feedback. This thing right here is, I think, an accessories carrying case. It's not like a cover for the speaker. That's what it is. You put all the accessories in here. That's good. We need that. And then let's try out this tripod, see how it works. I just, I just pulled it apart, and I think I have to pull that apart a little further. I'm going to put the camera down to do that. Okay, so I just have to pull that apart a couple times so it gets as wide as possible without breaking it, of course. Okay, and with the stand, you've got this at the bottom, the female end here, which has these notches or something and this end which I can adjust I can move it up or down doesn't have anything like that so when I put it on 
when I put it on, it doesn't seem real stable. See, it moves around a lot. There's a lot of play in this. I don't know if it's supposed to be that way or not. I mean, it, it, I guess it can move without falling over, but maybe it is supposed to be that way. So you don't knock into it and it just falls over. This way, it, I guess, has some give in it. That's my guess anyway. So right now it's on and it's on battery and it has all these controls like I said which I haven't even adjusted with and this is for playing other media you can even hook it up to Bluetooth and play media, play sounds and songs and stuff through here and I'm assuming you can do it simultaneously along with the microphones maybe you'd have to but um, this is all I know about it for right now and we will see how it performs and I'll do a follow up uh, review of it at that time and everything else is in the manual though I hadn't even bothered to look at any of the specifics on how to hook that up it could be easy, it could be difficult, I just don't know. Thanks for watching. Oh, one last thing before I go is there is a remote control. Here it is, and you got to pull this tab out to get the battery working. Right now, I don't even know if I'm going to use a remote control, but it does have one.